Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Anne with an E. They're gone, the grifters are out of there. So excited. Um, Anne told Gilbert about the gold, so I'm imagining he's gonna be coming back. Uh, not to gold, but we'll see if he sticks around. Um, yeah, man, uh, Mr. Barry got taken, you know. Nate got away, which sucks. But I, I just wonder how he's dealing with that. I wonder if that's something we'll see. But I'm so excited to get back into it. This next episode is called The Painful Eagerness of Unfed Hope. Uh, let's get into it. Ruby, you Sorry, must be King Arthur. Down. She does really look dead. <laughs> My mother said all play acting is abominably wicked. We're practicing lessons in a way. We're studying the poem Lancelot and Elaine at school and we decide to react Diana, it. home. Now, the rest of you as well, before you catch your death, but the cost of Scott here, we no. will simply... I will be heard! Come on, girls. The fairies are a disaster. So We're Diana. Sure. We've got post. I thought the moment might be from guilt that uh, it might be for me. <laughs> but your second letter from Miss Jeannie? Third. I'm ever so aimless with Diana. From Miss Jeannie? Mrs. Barry is being quite harsh. Yeah. We all need to stop gallivanting around like nothing bad could ever happen in Avonlea. Oh. She's traumatized. Quite all right, thank you. Despite the glare from the gaudy drapes, you seem to have spent our nest day long. Don't get mad at her. You're the one that lost the money. I purchased these drinks before you lost our money. She can't stop herself. <laughs> and ask Matthew. Matthew. I'm sure I made it clear by now, but I'm thinking of you since we reconnected last year. Oh. If you could find it in your heart to respond, it would mean the world to me. Do you ever go courting, Matthew? Uh, can't say is it it? If you're having uh, feelings uh, uh, about a, a, a boy. You want me? She's projecting a little bit. Maybe Sebastian can come Some back to Avonlea with you. Some girl tell you they might be gold on your land and you'd rather move cold. I wouldn't say that girl's the most reliable narrator. Uh... She meant well? If only a boy can't admit when he's gone over a lady. Would a boy stare danger right in the eye? Swallow. Hey, no, no. Uh oh. 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 <laughs> yep, a boy. <laughs> I do recall that he walked her home a few times. Aww. But after. His brother Michael died. That was the end of everything. The end of everything. He went into that barn. They never came out. Oh, Matthew. You deserve happiness. Love thwarted by tragedy. <sighs> Dearest Jeannie. She's such a romantic. Oh, Anne, this is meddling too far. Oh, that's a that's a gamble. Girls. It was it was really Diana did it. See this book has arrived not a moment too soon. Childhood is over. Even many mages a tiny child. <laughs> oh, Miss Barry, you need priority. Yes, well, I know you've been taught this bullshit, right. but ugh. It's likely best to stay away from the church on account of the whole town is still quite sore. We not to their fault. fault. Oh, she feels guilty. Right to sit here, serve tea, and not say something. Y'all didn't know. I didn't blame myself. No. We'll put it behind us. Rachel's such a good friend. I Where's love her the so much. Where's the sales? Something for everybody. Oh. Oh, why is he the sweetest? I don't have any money. It's yours. No. <laughs> you. Get away from her. What? How dare you trespass. Oh, now she doesn't trust outsiders. <laughs> Don't let that poison you. Off my land. How many times have I warned you about speaking to strangers? And Italians are that. He's not uh, an Italian. Oh, you no. can't just go around inviting strange men into the house. If little girls could understand the vulgarity of putting heads together and giggling as if the whole world was a ridiculous affair, they would refrain from such unmitigated nonsense. 
No laughing. No waddling. Throw in the Only trash. straight ahead of you when walking. Another one, Jamie. Oh, because, oh, I bet Ann sent that one out. To your question. Yeah, oh, one guess. What did you say, Ann? <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't trying to go behind your back. It's not right. No. Oh. That was more devastating than if he had yelled. <sighs> Minnie may go for it. This is cold again. Minnie may stop chewing so noisily. You sound like an animal. Puff pastry looked delicious. You go for it. Is he is he sick again? His heart? <sighs> it's none of your business! Oh god, no! Ah! And you're just racking up apologies that you need to. Ugh. Have you ever hurt someone so badly that they couldn't love you anymore? No, that's not what's happened. Oh. oh. Have any control, you'll be fortunate if you can get a fishmonger to marry you. Don't oh. you know? That's a perfect example of that shit, like generation, generationally, cyclically How repeating. Can you love each other I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for understanding. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you. Uh. What would you like to force me to say aloud in front of you? That I'm sorry. Fool? That I'm ashamed that I've made a huge mistake? Yeah. Yes. I want us to be partners. Yay. Things are getting better. Yay. How hard it is for you to express yourself. That has never been my weak point. Aww. And then I thought oh. when you told me not to give up all my romance. <sighs> He's so bottled up. Ugh. Make you keep sending that love that's up late. It's not a love letter. Right. I forget. I'm serious. It's not a love letter. <laughs> it was written with love. <laughs> Don't come back here again. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's pregnant. What is it? <gasps> yeah, girl, your water broke. Miss? Miss? Are you gonna deliver a baby? Your baby's breech. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, it's not in a deliverable position. I'm gonna need to adjust it. It's moved. The baby's ready. You'll have to start pushing now. Yes, Gilbert. Yes, you can. Push, Ruth, you're doing so well. Gilbert, come through. You see that face? She's beautiful. Thank you. Maybe Gilbert will want to become a doctor now. She died giving birth to me. Oh. Sorry. My brain is slow. It's all right. I don't want to be a farmer. You said that before. Now you're sure? Yes, there's other things calling out to you. Me, dark. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh you my God. Like to talk about the letters, Matthew? Uh, yes. Uh, the yes. You want to spend the time you have left with her? Oh, Matthew. Oh, <laughs> me. You can do both if you want to. To be quite honest, I felt overwhelmed when you did respond and compared me to Calla Lilies. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help yourself. You can go back if you like. Or there's a lovely trail up ahead. I wouldn't mind seeing that trail. If you got the time. You can go slow. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, yay! 
chill out, berries. Have some fun. Yes. I don't have love. I have you. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, you gotta share it. That's fortuitous. <laughs> the first BFF. <laughs> I totally had one of those with my friend at school. <laughs> that was so good. Yay. Um, I like that, you know, just because the grifters are gone doesn't mean things are just gonna be easy. You know, they've got to, they had to deal with a lot of things in this episode. Um, but in the end, it turned out well. Yes, and writing those letters is bad. She shouldn't have done it. And oh, it was so heartbreaking just to see him not yell, not just just be like, "You should, it's, it's not the right thing to do." And oh, that really hit. And you could tell, like, oh, I don't want her to feel like Matthew doesn't love her. Of course he does. And like the reason he didn't want to enter into anything with with Jeannie is because he wants to be with Anne. Like that's so cute. But, you know, they went on a little walk. I don't know if that's going to go anywhere, but it's, you know, it's there and if Matthew wants to pursue it. And I, I want Matthew to be happy, so whatever that means. Um, okay, uh, as far as Marilla, she's really blaming herself for the grifters unfairly, but it did make her lash out at that guy who was very sweet. And she said a racist thing, which not great. And I know she's an older generation and that is something that we have to deal with, with older generations a lot of the time. Something that I have to deal with, with my grandparents. And it doesn't make me happy, but you try to, I, uh, I hope there's something more said of that moment later on. Like the, especially Italians or whatever, like, that's really hurtful. And I just, I understand that she was hurting, but I didn't like to see it. But it's true to life, and I appreciate them for going there because even though I love Marilla completely, like, she said what she said, and that sucks. So hopefully we'll address it. I don't know if they will, but it sucks. Um, the berries? What I was gonna say, what I was talking about in the in the episode, there's such a microcosm of male and female roles. Him just being stoic, dealing with things on his own, and treating women like lesser, and Miss Barry just going full force on femininity and being the the subservient and trying to teach that to her kids and make them grow up when they're not ready. And I'm glad that all worked out, and it seems like the the grifter situation is you know it, it definitely hurt them and won't let them go to finishing school which I'm glad about but it's not just like they're not gonna lose their house like it, it could have been worse so and I like that they showed Diana treating Minnie Mae the same way and just letting Miss Barry see that see the the consequences of her actions of like what exactly she's teaching her kids so I'm glad they nipped that in the bud and you know they had a little fun moment with the the leaves and just you know being a family that was great I love that they did that so that's in a good place um and the other major thing was Gilbert he delivered a baby which apparently he's done before um and Sebastian made reference to maybe he'll you know be a doc um that seemingly would be a reason for him to come back to finish the schooling so maybe that's where they're going with that I would love if Sebastian could come with him he said he wants to have kids and you have to have land to do that he could stay with Gilbert Gilbert's got land um so I kind of hope that happens uh but I really like to see that that whole situation like of course that girl was like afraid of him like he's a white man in a, a land where like slavery is still being dealt with so I'm, I mean I'm glad Gilbert was able to do that for her and you know man 
he came through. He really did. And God, like I, I assumed he was just going to come back in this episode. He'd be back. But I actually like that they're exploring the world through Gilbert's eyes. I love that because it gives you more, more depth and a sense of place and time and other perspectives other than just these group of white people in Avonlea. I love that. And I wonder, I think it'd be fascinating if he brought Sebastian back with him and how would people be? I would, I would hope people would be good, but I don't know. Um, but I think that would be interesting to explore. And you know, with Anne doing what she did, like she truly is like a, a romantic. She's not as head in the clouds about it like Ruby is, but she really does love a romance. And you know, she stuck her nose where it didn't need to be, but it just, I mean, that's her personality. And Matthew has forgiven her, it seems, and she learned her lesson. So yeah, everything's okay. Everything's better, I think. This, you know, this episode opened up a lot of issues, but mostly everything settled. So yeah, it was really good. I like everything that they did. I'm glad we're at where we're at. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bummed about the Marilla thing, but it would be cool if they addressed it. Maybe they could bring in Sebastian and we can see them expanding their minds about others, people from different places. So that's my hope anyway. So, but yeah, I really liked this episode. It was really good. Thanks for watching guys. I'll be back soon.